Mark here, hope you're well. Welcome back to Kit Corner, which is the occasional feature on the channel where I take a look at particular bits of kit that I think are very good for whatever reason. This week, I'm going to be looking at the RST Adventure Pro Textile Kit. Oh, God, it's so cold in here today. Okay, so um, back in July 2015, I actually posted a video reviewing the RST Adventure Pro jacket. In fact, this... Uh, this very jacket here behind me. And uh, that video is still up and you can watch that. And I, I raved about the jacket and thought it was absolutely great. One of the, and that, I've got the trousers as well, of course. And one of the things that I love about RST kit is that it just always seems to fit me well. I, never, I know if I order it, uh, I don't have to worry about sending it back and fiddling around with sizes and so on. It just seems to fit me well. Uh, not only do I have the textile kit, but I also have their leathers. Uh, I have some jeans of theirs as well. So I'm just a big fan of, of RST kit generally. Um, so when it came to replacing this jacket, because it's starting, I'll wear it pretty much every day on the bike in all sorts of weathers, but it came to replacing it, there was really only one option for me to replace it with, and that was with some more RST kit. So this is it, this is now onto its third generation. This is the RST Adventure Pro 3. And if you stick around and stay tuned, I'll, uh, I'll show you some of the features of this jacket and how it's different from the original version that I had and what I think of it now. Okay, now looking close up at the jacket, I kind of wish I washed it before <laughs> before I did the review. I've been wearing this one now for about uh, six weeks or so, uh, and that six weeks has been in some of the coldest, wettest, horriblest winter weather that uh, Blighty can throw at me. So it's had a pretty good test, and I'm pleased to say that the, the functionality of the jacket is at least as good as the original Adventure jacket and trousers that I had. It keeps you warm, um, it's waterproof, it looks good, it's hard wearing, just everything about these jackets I like. So some of the little features about it, first of all I guess you need to know that it's one of those jackets that comes with the zip-in liners, so it's got a, a sort of a thermal liner and they've added this time this um, specific pocket for phones as well and this one is sized for the iPhone 7. Um, so I guess if you've got some of those other phones as well it'll fit of course but it's the iPhone 7 is quite big, uh, in it goes, that's the big version so that's great. And underneath the uh, quilted uh, section you've got what RST call a Sinequa liner lining, this is the waterproof lining basically, and it's one of these clever high-tech fabrics that doesn't let water in, but it does let you breathe, so, so you don't get all sweaty and horrible in it. And what I like about the RST jackets is that they do a proper job of attaching the liners and so on into the, into the jackets in that they're all properly zipped in, they're not just buttoned in or anything like that. Even down to things like the edges of the, um, the cuffs and where your feet go into the, in, the, in the trousers, they're actually zipped on, so they don't, you know, the liners don't try and come out when you put your legs in and out what have you, so I quite like that about it. Uh, the other thing that I love about the RST kit that I've used, or these textile jackets in particular, is the amount of ventilation and pocketry that are on them. Now this year, again, on the RST 3, uh, the Adventure 3, they've got the same um, ventilation uh, as they had on the original jacket, and basically how this works is you can unzip this here, this is just Velcroed on here, and you can unzip the bottom as well. This flap rolls all the way back, you can then zip it back up again, and you end up with a ventilation pad on the front. You've got them both sides, and then you can open the zips on the back, and you get really good um, airflow through. So ventilation on these is absolutely top class. Um, I've gone for the black this time because I just didn't want to look like Charlie or, or Ewan on a round the world adventure. Um, although I, you know, I quite like the looks of the, of the last jacket, but they do come in a number of colours, including some with some reflective patches. But this time I just went for the plain black because I wanted to be a bit more kind of low key. Um, another change for the um, Adventure 3 over the previous generations is they've changed the, the top here a bit, the collar. They've added this detachable um, sort of quilted part that keeps you nice and warm and basically what it means is you don't need to wear a, a neck warmer as well because it just keeps you warm. On the previous jacket to this uh, they had like a storm flap here, obviously didn't work very well because they've scrapped that now and they've gone with this bit so that keeps you nice and toasty as well, like that. Um, in terms of the materials it's made from, it's made from I think they call it Cordura material, it's basically one of these ballistic um, impacts and... Um okay, Hello, excuse me, I'll just get the phone. Right, phone call dealt with. That's because I was talking about the phone flap in here. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, what else to say about it? So it's got this hard wearing, um, super duper fabric that it's made from. It's double and triple stitched in places. So it's, um, you know, if you are, if you do have the unfortunateness to come off the bike and you're going tumbling along the floor, it shouldn't fall to bits. Um, and the other great thing about it for this year is in terms of the protection within the jacket, it comes with decent um, shoulder, um, elbow um, protection. But, which are CE Level 1 approved, which I think is fairly normal for these sort of jackets. But the back protector that it comes with is actually CE Level 2 approved, and CE Level 2 is actually superior to 1, so you can't get a better level of back protection than that. So you don't have to buy yourself a new back protector, which is what I have done in the original jacket, uh, to make sure you've got the best, the best thing going in this one. So, uh, so that's the jacket. Let's have a quick look at the trousers. 
So, the trousers then that, uh, that go with the Adventure 3, more, more of the same really, made from the same sort of material and again has got uh, excellent ventilation. In fact, the ventilation this year is better. It's gone for those removable um, ventilation pads again, which you can pull right the way back on these and get excellent ventilation. Previously, it just had slits in the trousers, so that's a big improvement, so pleased to see that. But really, it's the same sort of thing. Again, it's got the same liners, a waterproof liner and a thermal liner to keep you nice and warm. Um, and I've found actually that they, they're so warm that you don't actually have to wear uh, thermal underwear unless it's really stupidly cold. Because um, these, these keep you warm down to sort of minus two degrees without having to resort to, you know, really padding yourself out. So fantastic in terms of warmth. And they do that great trick of in the summer as well. If these work as the, as the original pants did that I bought, um, they, they keep you cool in the summer as well with those vents. So they really are an all year round uh, setup. I, I really can't praise them enough. I have nothing to do with RST, by the way. They're not paying me to say this stuff. I just happen to think their kit is really good. Okay, so uh, there we have it. That's my uh, review of the RST Adventure 3. As you gathered, I'm a big fan of the kit. I can't speak highly enough of it. I know what you're going to ask me. How much is it? I think it's great value for money. Uh, on Amazon, you can get these jackets for, I think it's £280. Let me just check my notes. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, £289.99 for the jacket. And the trousers are £219.99. So for basically £510-ish, you can have what, in my opinion, is, is really is a top knot top-notch textile suit. It's the, uh, looking behind me, fourth textile suit that I've had. Uh, these are my other ones here that I've used, of course, and I found this much, much better. Um, and when you when you look at the uh, the value for money, £510, you can pay upwards of £1,000 for a kit of, of similar quality, I think. So uh, really, thumbs up to RST for doing a great job um, on, the, on the Adventure Pro kit. All right, uh, when summer comes, I might uh, do a review on the leathers as well that I've got, because they're similarly good. Okay, I hope that's been of uh, some interest to you, and look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Mist and Fly. Cheerio.